What's up, Nets fans? What's up, Nets fans? It's your boy Mizzo. This is BK Nets Work, and I am excited. I'm talking about another victory. This one might be our most complete victory yet since we started this. We still without Karis. We still without. Ky we still are without Kyrie. And guess what? No problem, guys. We're rolling. Uh, yeah. I want to mention the last game because I did a little load management. I wasn't able to come through. Listen, I gave you guys something right after Thanksgiving. Let your brother live a little bit. But I'm glad I did it because we lost one and we lost uh, to Miami by three, 109 to 106. Um, the play of the game, of that game, that it was then with it once again. Uh, I wish at the end we could have got something going because uh, it was a tough loss. But guess what? I'm not talking about it. I I I, I didn't digested it already. I, I with my Thanksgiving food and all that. So I don't really care about that game no more. What I care about is the game that we won last night. We beat the Hawks and let go right inside the mathematics. Inside the mathematics, the first thing we're gonna talk about. We got a great big number of four. Yes, Nets fans, what does four represent? Well, I'll tell you. Four represents the four players in the starting lineup that we had. And guess what? Not only did they score double figures, people. Four of them scored 20 plus points. We love that. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, let's see who they were. We are, of course, they're winning. Allen, Prince, and Temple. They all had over 20 points, respectively. So, we always love that. That shows that our starters were clicking, our starters were doing their thing. We didn't need too much from the bench, although the bench came in and, and did a good job. We didn't need too much scoring from them. Uh, starters, you played amazing. Gotta give you guys some love. Those guys are going to get some more love in the Hoopers of the night. But let's keep going. All right. The next number we're going to talk about is 50%. 50%. Could you believe the Nets took 100 field goals last night and they made exactly 50 of them? Now, we love stuff like that on Inside the Mathematics. That is easy math. Easy man! 50%! 50 field goals were made out of the 100. Uh, we only took 31 threes out of 100. I love that. You know, I love that. I know we usually, listen guys, if you watch the show, you know that we take about 37 to 44 in that range vicinity. 44, 45 threes a game. We're like, we're like the Rockets. They take 46 threes a game or 47 or something like that. It, it might have increased since the last time I checked. But where where that our offensive system is sort of similar to that. We would like to play defense better than those guys, but um um we take a lot of threes. However, this game we didn't take a lot of two threes. We only took 31. We shot 45.2% from the three. That was beautiful. But the number is 50 baby. The number is 50. We 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 had um so, so so much great inside play. We love that. We always gonna love that stuff. All right. Uh, threes. I, 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 Thirty one attempts from threes out of the hundred that we attempted. That is great. That is great. That is. Uh, we we love a balanced attack. That's that's what I wanted to talk about. We're actually having a balanced attack. Not too much threes. Get some some stuff inside. Jared Allen, he was terrific. We'll talk about him later, but that's the number we're talking about. 50%. That's beautiful. That's excellent. Field goals, that's elite. We love that. On fire. Let's get to the next number we're going to talk about in Inside the Mathematics is two. Two. Let's see. Why is two significant? Well, I'll tell you. Two is the number of free throws we missed. Man, I told you guys when we hit our free throws, we give ourselves the opportunity to win the game. Uh, we shot 88.9, pretty much nine, uh, 89 percent from the free throw line. We took about 18. We made 16. Love that, guys. Love that. Love that. Love that. The guys were clicking on all cylinders yesterday, as you can see. And then the last number that we're going to talk about on NC 
inside the mathematics. Ten. What does ten represent? Well, I'll tell you. That's why you're here. It's for me to tell you. It's for me to talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying? And tell you what's going on with these mathematics. You feel me? Listen. We had ten players see game time action, and all. Ten were in the positive for the plus minus. Every player that played was positive on the plus minus. We love that. Now that I know what it means, we love that. We love that. Te oh man, all ten was were all ten players were at least plus three or better. Guys, y'all saw the game. Y'all see the score. We was just handling them, handling, handling. Trey Young, he was handling us a little bit, but uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, and the other guy, what's his name? Damon Jones or whatever his name? Damon Jones. Yo, it's almost like uh, John Collins was, was, wasn't even. Uh, it was almost like John Collins was playing. That dude, he got a nice bright future. Shout out to him. Shout out to Trey Young. But it's not about y'all. It's about my Nets. We won. Those are inside the mathematics. All right, all right, Nets fans. We love it. We love it. We love it. Listen, this is the segment where I usually talk about the who. Who? Hooper of the night for this two. Yo, I could have really took four Hoopers turning on played great. Garrett Temple played awesome. Then Witty was the man again. Jab it out. We don't. Where would we be? Now, but I only chose two. It's a true person maximum Hooper tonight. If you guys disagree with me, this is where you put your comments. This is where you guys do what you do and talk to me and let me know why you disagree. But the hoop, hoop, hoopers of the night that I chose, let's talk about the first one, is Garrett Temple. Garrett Temple, what a huge signing. What a low-key huge signing Garrett Temple has been. He's been awesome. I think he had one waste man. After that, he, he just he just smartened up. He, he realized what he had to do. He, 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 he ate his Wheaties and whatever it is. You know what I mean? Wheaties send us a check. Anyway, Garrett Temple, 34 minutes, right? He went 10 for 16. Now listen. 10 for 16 is good for a big man. But this guy was taking threes out the wazoo. 10 for 16? Sizzling! Caliente! We love that. That's hot. That's well above 50%. And guess what? Six for nine for threes? What? I told you he took a lot of threes. He took nine threes. Caliente! He made six of them. Good God, Gary Temple, you was doing your thing. One for one for free throws. Okay, we need you to get to the basket a little bit more, but we're not going to nip it. Four rebounds, three assists. No defensive numbers, Gary Temple, you got to get better like that. No, nah, no steals, no blocks. Okay, we, we got it. Two turnovers, who cares? Uh, five personal fouls, you were aggressive on defense, and a plus six with 27 big points. He led our team in scoring. Let's do our thing for, for, for Gary Temple. You did your thing. You look good. You look good. You look good. All right, Gary Temple, great signing. Let's talk about the guy that, man, listen, if you don't, listen, guys, I'm seriously putting this guy's all-star bid right now. December 1st. I can't think of a better big man in the East other than Joel Embiid, of course. And we know what Drum is doing, but they, that team is losing. Right? I can't think of another, uh, uh, a more important to his team big man other than Busevich, maybe in Orlando, maybe. But uh, Jared Allen has been huge for us. He has been so important to our success. I got to give it up to him. Once again, 29 minutes. He even played 30 minutes. Check this out, guys. 8 for 11. Sizzling caliente. We know he's right there under the basket. I know. I get it. I get it. So we're not going to go crazy about that. But we love it. We love it. Uh, 4 for 4 from free throws. We love that. Jared Allen, we love that. When you hit your free throws, because they're going to foul you, dog. They're going to foul you. They can't hold you. They got, they got to foul you. And out of uh, his 13 rebounds, seven of them were offensive. Keeping plays alive. We love that. Two assists, 13 rebounds and two assists. He still gave us two assists, two steals, three blocks. Get it out. You know what I'm saying? One turnover on the big man, three personal fouls, plus six. 
and he scored 20 points. Clap it up for Jared Allen. Jared Allen, you've been nothing short of exceptional. Yeah, yeah, what is this, his third year? I believe this is year three for him. Year three for you, you look great, Jared Allen. Jared Allen, continue, man, continue. You're looking great, you're looking great. All right, let's talk about uh, numbers for the other people. Terion Prince, he scored 23 points. Honorable mention, he scored 23 points, four assists, six rebounds. He took it to his old team. He 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 was he was tied it up for some reason. He's like, yo, why y'all trading me for? And for Alan Crabb? Really? Ha <laughs> ha! 23 points, 23 big ones. Uh he shot five for seven caliente from downtown. Nine for fifteen. What did I did I tell you he was a plus? I told you everybody on our team he's a plus nine. Terry on Prince, shout out to him. And then Dim Whitty for the uh, the other honorable mention, 24 big points. Five assists, six rebounds. Then when he was doing his things, we don't like those seven turnovers. Two steals. We love those. Uh, four for six for free throws. Then when he was the only person that missed the free throws. Could you believe that? And he's been hitting his free throws. Over four from downtown. Uh, 10 for 22. You can see why he didn't make Hooper tonight. But then when he once again was effective. And once again, I'm happy we got the Hooper tonight. No waste, man. Come on. Really? Everybody was a plus, 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 and I'm gonna have a race, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Seriously. Great job, guys. Nets fans, Nets fans, man. When you see this smile, you see Mr. Cheese. When you see, that's what they used to call me back in the day. But you know, when I'm when I'm when I'm in a good mood, you see that cheese, baby. You see that cheese. The Nets had a complete game overall. I gave y'all the mathematics. I gave y'all the hoopers. I, I, I let y'all know everybody was a plus and a plus minus. We, we, we handed it to them. Like, um, Trey Young, he gave us some problems. Uh, the other guy, Damon Jones or whatever. This guy right here. Woo! Number 30. Damon Jones, you're going to be a nice little play. I, 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 I see you, dog. Uh, you had a nice game, guys. Like, I, I, I can't say enough. Uh, with one game over 500, I would like for us to keep it going to the next game, which I'm about to get into. Uh, it's another road game. We're going to be without Kyrie again. Guys, I'm loving the way the Nets play. Even in the loss against Miami, they played great up until the last minute or something like that at a, at a game. So, uh, And we're without our, our big dogs. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, it, it pays to be a Nets fan right now. I'm I'm loving it. I'm cashing in all the all the all the W's. I'm loving them. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm feeling them. Let me know what y'all feel, man. We're gonna get right into this next game. Gonna be playing the Charlotte Hornets on 11-6. That is no. 12-6, what am I saying? We're going to be playing those Charlotte Hornets on 12-6. That is December 6th at 7 p.m. in Charlotte. Another road game. Um, we got them at home. You know they're going to be looking for payback. We don't want this to be like a little track game. Let's get two games over 500, baby. I don't believe we've seen that yet. So, Nets, can you do it for me? Two games over 500. Can you do that for your boy, for your fans? You loyal fans! If they don't, it, it is what it is, man. Um, but they've been playing their hearts out. We got to give it up to the Nets. I told you guys to trust the process. I had me a little cognac, you know? Not today, not not today, but, you know, when I told you to uh, trust the process, I had some cognac the night, the night of, and... So everything was well. Everything, everything is well once you have cognac and you have your Bob Marley. Okay? Y'all don't know what Bob Marley is. Y'all look it up. All right, guys. I can talk nuts with you all day, all night. But guess what? I got to edit this video. I got other things to do. I got to hit it. I got to get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Mizzo for at BK Network, make sure you guys follow us at BK Network on the gram. We have a lot of great content on there, plus our IGTV uh, uh, miniature version of this particular show right here. And we got other stuff too. So, listen guys, it's your boy Mizzle. I'm happy we won. Y'all know how we go out when we win with the chick. 
Brooklyn, Brooklyn, I said 